everyone, it's Samantha and it is Croctober. I'm going to be collabing with the YouTube Mommy Meetup. And so my recipe is going to be crock pot clam chowder. This is the same clam chowder I make. I've done a recipe on this, but, but this is the crock pot version. So much easier than having to watch it and slowly simmer for a long time. You just put it in the crock pot, do a couple of steps near the end and you're good to go. So to get started, I'm chopping up two russet potatoes. I already peeled them. And so I wanted to show you like the evolution of the potato as I'm chopping it. Cause I try to do this super easy. I cut along the skinniest side of the potato. You can see this is the skinny side. There's the chunky side. And then I lay the two halves flat, cut them long ways into smaller pieces, and then start dicing them like that. And I'm left with potatoes like this. So it just saves me a little time to just leave them like this. And when they cook in the crock pot, they get nice and tender any size you have them. But this is just the way I like them. Uh, and it's super easy to slice them this way. I'm also going to dice up a tomato and then I'm gonna open my two cans of baby clams and put those in my crock pot as well. And then I'll show you the next step. All right, I've got my potatoes and my onions diced up and put in here. And then on the top, I've got the fancy whole clams. I, I did add all of the juice in there and I was going to add chicken broth a 32 ounce thing of it, but I did not buy any at the store. So I'm going to make it work with some bouillon cubes. I added five of those and I'm going to fill the water up just so it covers up everything. I also added in some cracked black pepper and I'm going to give this a good stir and stick my crock pot on low. And so I just added enough liquid to cover everything so that everything cooks and I will be adding more liquid to this near the end of the cooking time. So I'm just going to stick this on low for the next six, seven hours. Um, you could probably go longer, but um, that's probably when we'll eat. So I'm just gonna give it a good stir and get it started. Now that it's been about six or seven hours, my crock pot is going still. I've got some butter melting here. I'm using a quarter of a cup of butter, which is half of a stick. And then I've got my supplies ready to go because once this melts, I'm going to make a roux. So I've got a heaping half a cup if you want your chowder a lot thicker, I'd go with more butter and more flour. And then I've got a silicone wrapped um, whisk here. It just keeps my dish from getting scratched up. And then I also have my milk ready. If you want your recipe to be a little bit more decadent, you could definitely use heavy cream or half heavy cream, half milk. We just use milk and it's fine. It just saves us a few calories since we're using a lot of butter. So here's what the crock pot looks like. Everything's nice and tender, and I am just going to make my roux. Generally speaking, when you're making a roux for gravy or something, you're gonna want equal parts fat and flour, but I'm using extra flour because I'm making just a thickening agent for my thing. It's not gonna be exactly the same. So I've got my flour in here. I'm gonna keep my heat on medium and just start whisking this around, and mine's going to be really, really dry. And this is just gonna cook that floury taste out of the flour. I'm trying to get all my flour incorporated. And if you're making a traditional roux with half and half, it'll be a lot less um, sandy looking than this one. I'm just going to stir this around for two minutes and I've got a clock right here, so I'm just gonna watch that. Also, if you were making gravy this way, you would definitely want to brown up this part so you'd cook it for longer than two minutes. Clam chowder, you want to be light colored. And also in the past, I have cut up a couple of slices of bacon and used the bacon along with some butter. And that really makes the clam chowder so incredible. I just don't have any bacon at this point. But that's also a really good way to get some more flavor into your clam chowder. And you can put the bacon bits on top too afterwards. It's been about two minutes. I am going to get my milk poured in here. And I just eyeball this, but you could totally measure this if you want. Um, I'd say I'd use a cup or two. I'm just gonna get this added in and whisk generously. And get that all incorporated in. And this will start thickening up pretty quickly. You can see it's starting to 
really thicken up. So this would be a great way to make gravy. So I'm going to add some more milk because I don't want it to get that thick yet. I still want to get all those lumps out. But basically, this is our thickening agent, so that's what it looks like. All right, I'm going to take it off the heat and get it into my clam chowder. All right, and so I've got a little bit more room. I'm gonna add some more milk just to make it a little bit extra creamy. Fill it up maybe an inch from the top. So I ended up using quite a bit of milk. Okay, and now it's time to throw in some seasoning. And I like to even add more pepper than what I did in the beginning. We like a lot of pepper around here. Add a lot of that. It's got salt from the bouillon cubes. We're probably fine on salt. I would like to add parsley. And if you have fresh, this is a great way to use up some fresh parsley. I just use this kind and we like a lot of parsley. So I'm gonna add a bunch in there. And for some extra flavor, I'm just gonna add in a bay leaf or two. It just gives it a little bit of extra flavor. I'll give this a good stir and then I'm going to let this sit in the crock pot on low for 30 minutes to an hour. It really doesn't matter how long. And here's what my clam chowder looks like. It has thickened up a little bit and it looks delicious. I let it simmer here for about an hour and a half. I got cut up with a sewing project and I need to take out the bay leaves. Definitely take those out before serving. And for serving this, I usually just serve oyster crackers to put on top. Um, sometimes the bacon bits if I make the roux with the bacon grease. Sometimes I like cheese over mine. I also really like a copycat Cheddar Bay Biscuit, and I copy the recipe almost exactly. I will link that recipe down below. You can check it out. It's just something I pinned and really, really liked. Um, but I didn't feel like making them tonight. I was working on a sewing project on and off all day. Um... Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like recipes in the crock pot and be sure to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the collab. I'll insert a link down below so you can check out everybody else's crock pot videos for Crocktober. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.